Welcome to DrivenMavens.com. My name is Arvind, and today we are going to continue our discussion on value sketching and how to create a focal point. So uh, here we go. Um, what I've got here is just a uh, three-quarter view of a uh, uh, of a car, uh, just lightly sketched in. And as you can see, um, most of the car is basically just one line uh, weight or one uh, value. So I haven't really darkened any of the areas. And what we want to do is, how do we uh, take this sketch and create that focal point by uh, changing the value? And I do that by, I'm going to start off with this Prismacolor uh, pencil that I've got here. And the Prismacolor pencil that I got here is black. So we start off with black. And, and what's great about the Prismacolor pencils is that we have been discussing before is that you can um, get several shades uh, of uh, from a, a lighter gray to a very dark black color. And the idea that you want to do is to be able to increase your pressure as you start to uh, sketch through uh, your lines and kind of draw through. So I'm going to start off here on, on one side of the vehicle. And we are going to slowly just darken portions of the vehicle. And you will see that value change. We're getting a little bit dark. Right to the top. And then we are going to, let me just zoom in here a little bit. So you can see that. That should be, should be pretty good. Close enough. I'm going to come out here to the uh, uh, side where I've got the fog lamp and define that shape a little bit. And to the upward side of the tire and then come down through the ground uh, into the um, ground plane then over to the wheel well. Just start darkening the areas underneath the real well to kind of reveal the wheels. It's funny, every time I, I do this, I get, <laughs> I haven't done it in a while, it just gets a little rusty. Uh, I'm going to come out through the uh, headlamp area. So you can see I've just darkened that area to kind of outline the shape of the headlamp. And coming underneath the headlamp to define the. Um, the uh, the slight chamfered uh, shape underneath the headlamp, and and basically what I'm doing here is using this nice draw through method. Um, I can just kind of let my lines just flow as I increase the pressure at the beginning. It just sort of fades out, and I'm just going to indicate some uh, quick details of the headlamps. Now we're going to go into the grill area. And you see, you know, you can emphasize these corners. That also helps to draw some attention to those particular areas. So as I, you know, run through and, um, you know, go through my, my, uh, my line drawing here, I'm just emphasizing and just increasing the pressure and pressing you know, basically pressing a little bit harder in those areas that I want to emphasize. And then we're going to have a little bit of a cast shadow underneath the uh, grill. And then I'll darken up the uh, inside areas uh, of the grill as well. So... So I mean, when you see me darken this, you can you can automatically see uh, that change. You know that change or, or that contrast between or that relationship that you see between the the dark and the light. And zooming in here again, getting closer, you can kind of see the texture of the pencil. And some of the lessons that I'm going to be uh, teaching um, uh, later is, is just to how to get that consistency. 
in your curves and your line weight and um, sketching with uh, purpose or, or make or, or make sure that the uh, the curves that you, you sketch are purposeful and they uh, go where you intend them to go and zoom out here a little bit so you can see as I go through the uh, uh, the rough line here so once again start sketching up to the top a little bit more pressure and you can always already see that there's some depth right in that section through there right at the top come back here at again the bottom of the windshield emphasize that corner and then draw right up to the top and join it So, you know, right there, as you can see, I'm just showing you that relationship between the darker lines and the lighter lines. So you look at the areas uh, where I haven't really, uh, you know, increased the line weight or anything. You can, you can see that your attention is really being drawn to the, uh, the darker areas of your sketch. Just going to put the little shadow underneath the side view mirrors here. Get that center line section right at the top of the windshield. Again, going back over and uh, emphasizing uh, portions. Now I'm going to come into the tire area. I mean, even as I as I comb through the the sketch, I can. You can see that my my uh, my ellipses are, are a little bit off. Okay, let's see. Um, going to uh, am I going to go to next? Uh, one thing that you want to be aware of while you're sketching is to to make sure that um, you know practicing your your curves and and uh, just doing simple. Um, practice sessions of, of drawing just lines and curves and, and doing it repetitively helps to get you that consistency and keeps you from uh, you know having your your curves kind of wave around I'm gonna come underneath the tire you know darken up on the inside of it inside of the uh, of the wheels it's going to define the spokes. So it's going to pop those things out. And I'm only concentrating here, you know, on the front. Notice I'm not really doing much at the at the rear. Just that focal points in that front portion of it. See, I mean that's that whole front section area. And then darken up the the tires on the other side. I tell you, man, these these Prisma colors are just awesome for this stuff. They're expensive, but uh, you know they're worth it. And you can get these extenders too. That you can uh, get more mileage out of your pencils. And okay, darken up here the uh, the center um, of the wheel. Go back over and and create a little bit of relief. And I'm going to shade the bottom. The bottom of that front fascia, which is not really getting that much light. Getting a little bit of light, not too much, but what's going to happen actually in that section is um, you're going to get a little bit of light reflecting off the bottom of the ground plane. And then here, um, you want to kind of section or draw a section of the area to kind of help define the form in through that area, that front fascia. Okay. Again, shading it. Come to the top. 
emphasize, maybe a little bit darken up the area, and then here you're going to have a little bit of um, just defining the windshield again, and then um, adding a little quick reflection. It's basically a reflection of you know um, anything in the environment, some trees or whatever. Let's get through the other other side. Come back from the top, and here again, I am sketching right where the uh, the fog lamps are, uh, just creating a little bit of that relief because all that uh, that portion of it itself is going to be on the shadow side. So now you can see that you know the you're getting a little bit of definition of that form through that section. Right, if my light source is coming from the top, you know that that uh, the chamfered surface underneath the headlamp are going to be on the lighter side, and everything below that is going to be a little bit darker. Okay. Now again, I'm defining the uh, the shape in that section that's going through the uh, the door panel right there and as you can see when I draw that section there's um, you know the front portion of it I'm going to darken it up a little bit here and you're going to see that um, right in through that section that area um, that concavity is a little bit deeper and then as I go rearward in vehicle I'm going to pull that out a little bit so what happens well, basically, you have to um, uh, reduce that contrast. Okay, so there's my section. In the front portion of the area, you can see that it's darker than it is as I go rearward. Uh, get a slight chamfer there. Once again, I'll shade that bottom area. There we go. It sure goes a little bit slower <laughs> when you're explaining things and um, drawing at the same time. You know, this is pretty much, uh, I'm not going to do too much more to this. I may clean it up a little bit after I finish this video and, and just emphasize certain portions of it. But, you know, the thing is that when you get into, I mean, this is all just going with uh, black and white, basically, or taking a, a black pencil. Once you get into color, it's going to get a lot more complex. Um, with color, you have to worry not about the hue, but the saturation of that hue, and then look at the, uh, the value change. So as your value changes, you know, you want to describe the form change. Um, with a particular color, and that's just going to get more difficult. But we're going to cover um, we're going to cover some of that in another tutorial. But I mean, you always have to start off with the basics. Um, start off with a uh, with black, and get varying shades of gray. You'll have that value range, and Prisma Color does a, a terrific job uh, with that value range. You're going to be able to get really dark with your uh, with your black pencil, and uh, any other color that you pick, you're going to be able to get a, a pretty nice value range off of that single hue. If you're taking a color other than if you're picking a, a color as opposed to picking a uh, picking black, I'm going to finish up here. <coughs> Let's clean it up, maybe emphasize here the the um, fog lamp here at the bottom. Once again, I'm just emphasizing maybe the, the bottom curve. So um, that's pretty much it. 
Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and it was value add and uh, it explains um, you know how we create a composition or actually I'm sorry create a focal point uh, using a, a single medium like Prismacolor and start to emphasize certain portions of your sketch or your drawing or um, or even when we start getting into uh, color when we start doing an, an illustration or uh, painting you know how we can emphasize certain um, portions of that painting by by creating a different value so I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we will see you here next time on DrivenMavens.com <laughs>